Contact, contact, contact. Can't walk in. I think we got bigger problems, but I suspect so. They're on the upper decks. They're on the oh, upper decks. Wait. Check your corners, check your corners. Play careful. Grab the rock. Gentlemen? Captain? Captain? Oh. As you were, as you were. What, what are you guys doing here? Uh, this is my toaster. He's showing me his toaster. Um, I, Link, I is toaster code for something? No, no, it's I not. Don't think he, I don't think he understands it's just a power cell. It's okay. We need, we need things to get us through these tough times. Where is he looking? You, you, you doing all right there, uh, Pyro? Trainee? Um, however, myself and the XO would like to thank you for your service at the helm. Uh, your ability to handle yourself under stress and follow orders no matter the situation. We've decided to reward you with your own quarters. Oh, thank you, sir. Congratulations, uh, Lieutenant Link. Here's to many more. You can, um, modify this to your likings. Probably get rid of one of the beds. Uh, yeah. I, I don't need a second one. Yep, yep. Pyro, where'd you go? Pyro. I'm where you are. Evening, Captain. W which one's your quarters? This is a toilet. That's a bathroom. Uh, this is mine. Don't go in there, though. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain, I'm gonna this just. Is why, this is why I requested my own quarters. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just turn this off for now and pretend I didn't see anything. Pyro. Yeah, yes, Captain? Uh, you're sleeping with Tiber in here, right? No, no, I'm sleeping by myself. Oh, because uh, Link was in here with you? No. no I... Uh, I was in the front room, but that got vented out, and nobody's been sleeping in there since. Where does Tiber sleep? Does he just sleep down in the... Uh... Uh, he used to sleep in this room, but it, 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 got, it got vented. See, like, stuff still doesn't work in here. Okay, okay. Um... We're gonna probably gonna need this in the future. So, uh, Pyro, when you see Tiber, I uh, want you to inform him that your quarters are now shared with him. Understood? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. There you go. Good man. 
Yeah. Mm? Hey, Admiral. I think that's the gang. Gentlemen, it only took a concentrated effort of blowing CDF vessels up for a week straight to get us all here. <laughs> Music to my ears. Yeah. Well, uh, gentlemen, you would uh, let's take a seat. Of course. And if you want uh, any clan call at any time, just hit me up. Uh, my ex over here can be your bartender. I'll take a six pack uh, for the trip back if that's all right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to be stealing one of those. All right, gentlemen, feel fields. What the fuck? Did we just go into Ganesh 1? If you don't mind, uh, let's just, I recall this conversation in the past, but Admiral Roder, can I get a sit rep from the rider's point of view? So at the moment, uh, our shipyard in 2A is under basically constant siege. I've lost track of how many times the CDF have tried to probe and destroy that station. Successful once, but I have Zephyr Squadron as a permanent defensive garrison there. And as you know, I've rerouted all my re remaining assets to assist on this front. Fob construction of Terrapin will be done within the week. Gotcha. That's that's about what uh, we thought as well. Uh, Roberts, uh, what's the situation with the, the first fleet? Can we expect some uh, reinforcements anytime soon? Well, first fleet vessel, Black Ops vessels already in the region, confirming most of what we already know. Uh, most of what is known being cruiser production and CDF side is in full swing and CDF cruisers have been deployed throughout the system we haven't been catching up on any word of battleship production but we are intercepting a large amount of encoded comms traffic guarding something well large we aren't sure yet what it is um, but however we believe we know it will give us that information Gotcha. You mentioned something about a contingency for the CDF overmowing the riders. Uh, can you elaborate on that now that we got some time? Uh, right, that. I, uh... No, don't worry about it. It's back up for sure, but with things going well for now, it's... Uh, don't worry about it. Those intel types. Alright, alright. We're giving it all our, our all here. Roberts, don't don't hold out on us. Mm-hmm. Respectfully, sir, I think we need to talk about our next steps. So let me pull up let me let me pull up a plan into space discord uh, of the map. So we are all on the same page, right? What what is what is our move here? Exo, feel free to chime in at any moment. Let's uh let's keep rank out of this and let's, As let's come up with a plan. We stand I have a suspicion as to what that big thing the CDF is going to be working on. I don't have any confirmation. It's just a hunch, but I think it it might be accurate. Given how fighter happy the CDF has been recently, I'm going to guess they're trying to bring out a carrier prototype. And I'd rather not let that happen. At the rather moment, that. I have notice here holding position in 3B so we can get that uh, fob up and running while Boreas arrives so we can hold down the tile while Notice returns home and refits. Meanwhile, Zephyr is going to continue holding position in 2A, doing its thing, holding Bastion in Winchester. Now, do that. Let's, like, let's, let's talk about our joint operations with uh, us, you know, the EFN and the Riders. What's, what's the game plan going forward? Do we want to probe into indeed. 2B, go to 3C, fight a defensive war, send Zephyr to 1A? Hmm. I'd really rather take Zephyr or two, uh, Sector 2A rather off of the front lines. I'd suggest an incursion into 2B to knock out that that sector. Then, once notice is returned and refitted, send it into 2A to put up a resistance while Zephyr annihilates 1A. That way, we have a solid foothold. 2A is off the front lines, and we have a lot more breathing room. Okay. As so... an additional note. Uh, according to Intel, 1A has a heavier squadron consisting of two two cruisers at this point, bar none. Uh, 2B will likely be lighter, more lightly reinforced than 1A Indeed. and offer a better siege effort. Since our disastrous last t attempt to take 2B, well, I think they've diverted elsewhere, especially, specifically 3B. Although, now that I think about it, there is the risk that they've staged a heavy hitting squadron in 2B to smash into 3B. 
I would... I, I'm with the Admiral on this one. If I were the CDF, I would think they would concentrate their heaviest assets in 2B. That's the only thing... That's where they have the most effect. They can affect 2A, 3B, fall back easily, so on and so forth. Like, if you want to... That, that's the best pivot point. So I think we can assume for now that there are half of, if not the majority of CDF heavies in 2B. Um, I don't believe if the, if the CDF makes a genuine effort to take the sector, that notice will be able to hold for, more, for too long. However, I'm confident if they are given time to repair, that they can run an assassination op on any on at least one heavy that they may send against 2B, softening up the squadron for a reprisal attack by possibly Boreas. To speak. So I and think we I just, just keep Boreas in 3B and hold that bitch down. Pardon my French gentleman. And, oh, of uh, course not. We're writers. We swear all the time. And the Eternity and Notice do what they can. But if Eternity and Notice fail, we have 3B as a fallback point. That's a I, good idea. I, I like the idea of, uh, I don't know if you guys still use the saying, but uh, one in the hand is, well, the, the point is 3B, we have 3B, let's keep 3B, let's not overextend to try to get 2B and 3B. If we get 2B, hell yeah. But uh, Another, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. And I think it'll, and I, I'm sure it'll be, a serious weight off your back if you can if you can consistently have destroyer escorts covering your flanks. Yeah. So I'm thinking. So if I got that right, the plan so far, the very two week out plan for the lack of a better term, is once the fob is up and running, Boria should be arriving as the fob is coming online. Boria's holds position, rests, limbers up. Eternity notice do a probing attack into 2B. If we feel like we can take it, we take it. Um, otherwise, we retreat. Indeed. From there, um, I mean, honestly, we, we could consider moving to 2A and then up to 1A, but that's a topic for another day. Uh, mm -hmm. But we'll do a probing attack into 2B. If we can take 2B, we take 2B. If we don't take 2B, well, the conversation's over, we come back to 3B. Um, and we'll reassess. And we'll reassess. But if we can't take 2B, that... we take 2B. Uh, we can actually, yeah, notice an eternity can hold 2B. I'm sure of that. If we, if yes, we I'm positive. We can that. Hold it. Yes, that's a notice. It has our most modern vessels to date, and combined with the firepower of the Eternity, that's almost a Zephyr level of power in that one tile. Understood. I think, I think that's all we can really look at for now. Uh, planning any farther is just a waste of time, in my opinion. The the situation is fluid, too much so to predict more than a couple weeks in advance. Perhaps a tentative. You, uh, well, perhaps a tentative plan once we, if we are forced to retreat to 3B, a prompt follow-up attack on Remington Shipyard in 3C. After all, we'll know slightly better where the CDF heavies are concentrated if we are pushed out of 2B. So we'll know where they're not, aka 3C. We'll, uh, we'll pencil that in. Uh, our damage state will be very question. Our, our, our ability to attack 3C will be dependent on our damage state. I think we of course, have time on the retreat to assess if that is possible or not. Depending uh, from a grand strategy perspective on the positions of enemy assets, an attack on Remington may be perceivable as an overextension of the Eternity at this point. I was thinking more that Notice and Eternity hold 3B to repair while Boreas uh, jumps into 3C to take out the shipyard then retreats to 3B. That would be a valid move. Uh, sir, if I may... There's yeah, some ahead. information you might want to hear. The First Fleet has been interested on jumping on this. However, perhaps you'd like to take this one. Our assets are a bit worn thin. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many First Fleet assets. Uh, what is it? Well, we don't know exactly what this large material buildup has been about, as mentioned. We haven't broken the code. But we do know whatever it is, it is in tile, it is in the tile here, above the moon. And we're tracking three civilian vessels hauling supplies from 1A at the edge of the asteroid belt, through 2B, then to 2C. This process takes roughly three weeks, it's a one-way trip. Path is linear, trackable. Clear the CDF care about speed rather than stealth. Currently, one such vessel, vessel is in 2B, 14,000 kilometers away from our position at 
best possible speed, someone could be there in two days. <sighs> Captain, anything to add? Only extra stimulants to my coffee. I see where this is going. Uh, right. Yeah, that's really all I got. You want me to say it, don't you? Yeah, all right. You want us and the riders to uh, intercept this thing, huh? Well, I wouldn't say no. God damn it. <laughs> Respectfully, Roberts, I'm not sure how you think we're going to intercept that. Boris is still en route, and those heavies take a while to get going. So, they're not going to be here in time. Meanwhile, notice this cruiser working around the clock to get that fob up, and the eternity need is needed to be here to defend it. Hmm. We are stretched thin. We really need that fob up. Indeed. Although, we do have a new stealth ship in the area. The Watchful Eye. <laughs> the what now? It's our stealth, stealth vessel. I always attach one to my squadrons. Never know when you might need a little bit of recon, eh? That's the most hood rat shit I've seen you see yet, uh, Admiral. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never heard the term hood rat shit used before. I'm gonna have to write that one down. Yeah, well, I am seeing the itinerary for today. So much for uh, kicking it back while this- We'll head right up to the vessel, get in, get out. CEF won't even know what hit him. Roger that. I'll, uh... Get my crew on prepared for that. You handle the, uh, you handle the stealth vessel. We'll handle the, uh, yeah, you handle the stealth vessel. A drop pod. We'll handle a, uh, the fighter support with our Manta. How does that sound? Admiral Omni, I believe that'll be you. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Make me proud, Admiral. Gentlemen, do we have anything else here? Always or will. shall we hop to and uh, get the show on the road? Oh, uh, Omni, if you don't mind. Or Admiral mm. Rotor, either of you. If you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh... Would you guys care to join us in the hangar? We have a little ceremony coming up, and after that we'll get going. Should only take about five minutes of your time. Yeah. Why the oh, hell course. not? Roger that. Me, uh, Exo, if you can escort them to the hangar, grab all the other riders. And Who's I didn't good? even bring my my uh, ceremonial saber. You guys can leave your helmets on. Don't worry. Our uh, space toasters will handle this. Of course, of course. Your uh, food warmers are certainly interesting, Captain. Yeah, they, they do a lot of things. Right? Right? Yeah, we're, we're a bit thin today. Looks like most of the riders aren't here. Now they're I think most of them are asleep. In their vessels. Roger that. Yeah, I, I might have to go shake them awake. We'll keep this one. Uh... No, no, it's all right. You can stay here. It's fine. We'll, we'll keep this one a private affair with the leadership of the riders and uh, the EFN crew. Pyro, please step up here. Pyro? Okay. Pyro, fuzz. Yay, I'm important. Pyro uh, joined our vessel as but a simple trainee. Some might say by chance, but I say maybe it's fate. Who knows? Maybe it's fuzz. We'll uh, we'll figure that out in the future. However, officially of today, I'd like to uh, to swear in Pyro Fuzz as official member of the EFN Navy. Pyro Fuzz, make sure your oxygen is on. No clapping yet. Oxygen is on. Exit the vessel, please. Uh, yes, sir. Pyrofuzz. Yes, Captain? You can't raise your right arm because that animation does not exist in this video game. <laughs> Metaphorically, <laughs> raise your right arm and repeat after me. Okay. I, state your name. I, Pyro. Represent the Earth Federal Navy. Represent the... Earth Federal Navy. I defend Earth, her fleets, and her people. I defend Earth, her fleets, and her people. I am courage, strength, and wisdom. I encourage strength and wisdom. I am the heart of the Navy, for I serve in her ships. I am the heart of the Navy, for I serve in her ships. I am the sword of the Navy, for I may give my life for the mission. I am the sword of the Navy, for I give my life for the mission. I am the face of the Navy, for I represent myself, my crew, and those who have come before me. I am the face of the Navy, as I represent myself, my crew, and those who have become before me. I am the soul of humanity, for I am tomorrow's leader. I am the soul of humanity, tomorrow's leader. 
I am an EFN sailor. I am an EFN sailor. I fight for those who stand beside me. I fight for those who stand beside me. I fight for those behind me. I fight for those behind me. And I fight for those that I have left behind. And I fight for those who I left behind. Pyro, you left this ship a civilian. You now may enter as an EFN sailor. Seaman Pyro, you may now step aboard the vessel. The Eternity's Advent. Behind you stands countless men and women, from the first sailors that fought in the wars over Saturn, the wars of Ganymede, the 5th and 9th Fleet Revolution, and the 11th Fleet Insurrection. Behind you stands their legacy of never backing down. Never forget what they represent. You'll be swift in your actions, but be merciful in your judgment. Congratulations, Seaman Pyro. Welcome on board. Hey! I'm going to assume this is where I clap. Hey. Uh, oh. Whoa. No, 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 we're in a pressurized vessel. That's, that's not needed. That's not needed. <laughs> Welcome to hell, Pyro. Where's You'll be staying here a while. Congratulations, Ensign. If, uh, if we were on my vessel, I'd crack you a rad rum, but, uh. We got well. some work ahead of us, gentlemen. Uh, Wait. rider contingents. I don't know what you do, Roberts. You always kind of just fuck off and then show up at in, uh, in and out for two times. But uh, let's get to work. We'll prep our Manta for dust off. Let's say 20 minutes. Captain Brock, if you will follow me down to a more spacious area for a viewport, uh, follow me right this way. Uh, I guess Over so. here. Yeah, sure. Orange suit. Which, which one? Okay. You went that way. Right here. This is quite the confined quarters. I it mean, is, sir. It's Corvette. Unfortunately, Pyro, we got put in a smaller view area. Are we being executed? No, uh, this is like the same size. I as assure you room. not, Captain. It's a stealth Ooh. Corvette. A great change from the battleship you've been in. Uh, yeah. There are economical reasons and oh, this is the sometimes door. reasons of survival door, for it being Captain? so cramped. I do trust me. That door, that You're in a side. very safe stealth Corvette. Igor, run a status check on the Vagabond. Make sure all systems are op. Morden, please assist. Hey, uh, Captain. Whatever yeah, go ahead. Tight, whatever tight quarters are over there can't be worse than if you were packed into here. Oh, bet. You'd be surprised. I used to do this a lot. Yeah. At first, it was uh, shipment barges trying to get past blockades, avoiding unnecessary payments that I couldn't make. And eventually I got scooped up for the fact that I was getting past sophisticated blockades that really uh, even the writers couldn't do. Together. Since you're taking the lead on this one, we'll be following your orders. How do you want our ground troops to deploy? We have four assets. Uh... Mm. Well, man, that's one expensive 6th gen ship you've got, isn't it? <laughs> Thing looks alien to me, honestly. I'd honestly uh, say to hold back more of a trump card than laying down our manpower here. CDF is likely expecting us to uh, show up in the space here. However, you? That'll be quite the surprise in case we're on the back foot. I'd say hang back. And, Admiral, if I may. Roger that. It's your mm -hmm. show, uh, it's your show, Omni. And, Admiral, if I may. Yes, Lieutenant Commander? With, with all due respect, Captain Brock, um, this is the writer show. I'm sure we'll be fine. Ah, uh, tone your pride, but... Yes, Captain. We like getting our hands dirty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to have loads of fun here. Time has done all right so far. Don't dog him too hard. Civilian Defense Force defending. Trust right. me, the time I see them defending, that'll be the end of my days. I'll marry a cow. Hey, it's good uh... to see you in person. I heard you on the radio a lot over the last couple of weeks. Oh, uh, you know, I'm a guy. Yeah, well, surprised to see you on the Go zone. ahead and think about how you're going to deploy. I, uh, may have done this a couple of times before. Dude, you're quite the renaissance man. You're the main radio man for multiple ops. You're going in to, uh, assassinate some CDF children. You know, the usual. All right. Well, I got brothers, too. What, excuse me? You didn't know? I'm not the only warden here. I've got other brothers in the writer's faction. 
Are they like twins? You sound pretty familiar. They're not clones. Uh, I think they're twins. Uh, you could say we're twins. What do they call it? Irish twins? That is... Well, um, I'm glad Try to not to think about your... it too hard. Quit. Yeah, uh, this is awkward. Five clicks in closing. All personnel uh, for the boarding up. Get in the vagabond. You know the drill. Equip up. Let's go, Understood. boys. But just for now, Captain, I believe uh, it's best to. All be personnel, sh- sound off Manta, on vagabond. Be advised, this is going to be quick. Here. Roger that. Commander all Zell, personnel Zell, on Zell, vagabond? Right. Question mark. This is Lieutenant Commander Nebula checking in. Are all your men accounted for, Lieutenant yes. Commander? Yes, sir. They are. Ego, go, go, go. Get the fuck out of my sight and come back alive, you hear? We're out of here. See yes, you later. No. Manta, come in. I want you to escort to 5000 and then RTB. Roger that. Never mind. Just this one. Admiral, this is Chief Warden. My uh, helmet cam should be live. Tell me if I'm, uh, you're reading me. Uh, let me get to this signal bay on here. This is uh, Captain Brock. I, I got his, his thing pulled up, uh, transmitting. Uh, yeah, a new fangled fucking suit. Got it, right, Dyke. Right, right, right. Okay, Igor, bring the ship in. We're gonna hit them. Warden, do you read me? This is Captain Brock. Chief Warden, loud and clear. Gentlemen, let's get 360 to security. I want to know everything that's in this hangar. Civilian in cargo hold. To the left if you entered. Warden, if you once you have the tactical tactical situation sorted, let's start looking around. I'm seeing a lot of packaging. Yeah, did I see barrels? Confirm. Wooden civilian too. Oil? Got that. Zell, you take the gate on my right. Max, take the gate on my left. Secure them. I don't want anybody coming in that we don't know about. The rest of you, operator, creator, take the rocket launcher if you haven't already. Yep. The rest of you, I need to start clearing these containers. Let's go. Permission to work on opening up this door. That is a... Uh, that's a 400 it. millimeter bridge. gun, huh? Check the other containers quick. Roger that. And it's likely... It's likely that the CDF have figured out the situation. Uh, they're probably coming in soon, so let's hustle. That looks like another 400 mil, if I'm not mistaken. Seems yeah. to be casemate variant. Another casemate here. These uh, car okay. containers seem to be full. Oh, was that 400 millimeter? Yeah, it makes sense yeah. considering the guns. Can you look at another couple containers for me? Thank you. Sorry, Omni. Yep. Um, sorry, Admiral. I'm just uh, very curious at what we're looking no, at here. I'm, a, I'm plainly shocked myself. Do you think this might be supplies for a battleship? Contact, Four contact, one. contact. Can't walk in contact where? Looks like we've got bigger problems, but I suspect so. They're on the upper decks. They're on the oh, upper decks. Wait, check your corners, check your corners. Play careful. Grab the rock. Sure. For, uh, board. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 monster kill. Seize that bridge. Double time, double time. Get that thing moving at least. Proceeding. Copy that. Can't make it up. Alright, they're just sitting up there. Excuse me. Are they gonna vacuum up there? I believe they are at the bridge of the ship. How's the send, uh, send the Manta in? Give us a few more moments here. Roger that. Location on the bridge. Found it, found it, found it. The, the civilians are in the bridge. Good. I'm gonna grind my way it. in the bridge. You go. Grind through it. Grind, grind, grind. Max William, they're gonna come through that door. Cover it, cover it. Hold them up. Stay there. Why is it not How's that grind coming? Bridge, what's your status? Slow and steady, we're getting there. Can I, can I rejoin you? Bridge secure. Riders, be advised, uh, Warden is under, uh, under attack in the top floor. Top floor. Hey, on the, on the. Right. Ego, help me hack this. Copy. You can't kill Admiralty, that's against the rules. I'm reconnecting. Omni, I think that's the bridge on your left. Run to there. I'm reconnecting. On your left, Omni. No, not Omni, sorry, Warden. My left? Warden. Uh, Admiral Omni, with all due respect, I'm sending my Manta in. I recommend it at this point. (laughs) Now you recommend it. Manta, do you read? uh... Yeah, read loud and clear, sir. Uh, Try to enter the battle space, provide support when able. 
Roger. Hook up with the lieutenant commander on the scene. Infantry. He'll know what's up. Uh, we're at it. Roger that. 1.4 behind. What, just, what was that? Uh, Tybert, pop, pop on those uh, turrets. Admiral Omni, what's the sit rep of uh, Rider assets on that freighter? Am I shooting this uh, thing firing rockets? Uh, Lieutenant Commander, what's your status? Uh, at We're taking fire, unknown from what? Unknown. Status of the freighter, Are you get, do you have it on the move? Yes, yes. No. freighter is yes. on the move and we are being engaged by the CDF transport ship. I Hold think. out and make sure that thing doesn't stop moving. He slows down to half a, yep. uh, impulse. Need someone to go and turn off our bus loop on the dropship, please? Just a vague guess. The Manta's on the fighter. Roger that, engage. Igor, or uh, any personnel really who's capable of piloting the Vagabond, go ahead and uh, take that thing out and begin seeing if you can't cleanse that fighter with the Manta. Is anyone in there capable of taking the dropship at this time? Someone inside. Like Tiber, can you stream uh, your can you stream your suit comms? Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I need to get a, a tactical view of the situation. Oh, we got a fighter behind us, moving to engage. That's not a fighter, uh, Manta. Manta, do you copy? Break off! Break off! That's a fucking ship. Break off. Is that a Corvette or frigate? Manta, get out of there! That's a Vanguard class. Admiral, I recommend we commit the uh, the stealth Corvette, whatever the fuck you called it. Get strapped. We might Manta's jump. down. Negative. Bort, get your ass on the. Uh... Yeah, that's not happening. She's gone. Get on the freighter. Uh, Omni, tell me when uh, I'm free to jump out. You're free to jump out right now. We're 300. Link, what's your position? On board. Uh, I'm inside the hangar. Tiber is in the hangar. Clear to jump. I'm clear to jump, anyways. Link, Link, on me. I'm Roger. at the starboard side of the hangar. It's by the rider dropship. Roger. Like, where are you at? Uh, oh, why yeah, aren't our guns firing at that thing? They got, they've got a medical room on the freighter. Uh, we've actually got like a low-key technical Shit. problem here. Link, the where are you at? The trees aren't firing. Um, I'm at the back of the dropship. You're loaded too. Oh, right here next to you. Roger that. We need to egress the area. The situation is spiraling out of control. The riders are losing control of this situation. So I'm already engaged, sir. Do an interrogative and say again. I'm already engaged, sir. Make your way back to me now. Okay. Follow back. Follow back, Zelby. Admiral Omni, do you read? Uh, I read. Uh, Forty-three. I suggest are we up. enact they're, they're not a uh, retreat. The enemy, but I, I suggest we enact a retreat. The situation is spiraling out of control rapidly. Understood. Riders. Is, uh, is the Vagabond attacked? Uh, it, you know, uh, I am next to the dropship. The dropship seems to be disabled. We will have to use the stealth to egress the area. They're copy. loaded. What is going on? Got Command, Vagabond is going on. I'm taking control of the Grand Subtrition. Riders, listen up! Do you hear my voice? Go. Yes. If you hear my voice, form a defensive perimeter around the downed dropship. Do not let anyone into the hangar. Hold right position gun. and defend this position. Do you copy? Copy. Roger that. Omni, do you read? I read. Do, are your jump drives a, ready? We're in a bit of a low-scale dogfight with the I got that. Right are now. your jump drives ready? The jump drives should be ready. Omni, I need you to pull that stealth freighter right up to the starboard side of the hangar. We're going to be doing a combat egress. Understood. We're here. going to be under fire by the vanguard for the entirety of the maneuver. I understood. Get over here now. They, they Admiral, the, right, the civilians have command of the flight of the, of their, of the uh, fleet. Okay. Riders, if you can hear my voice, we are leaving now. Get your guns. Stop fall me. back to the starboard side. We are getting aboard. Watch you have 20 seconds. Hold up under this fire very long. Roger that. We're coming aboard now. Stop the vessel. We can't come aboard if you're moving. Riders are here. EFN, well, sound off if you are on board. Parting in 10, whether you're ready or not. Punch it! No! Like, uh, Admiral, Admiral bring this ship to a complete fight. stop. Understood. 
Braun auxiliary thrust. The fuel got punched. Roger that. Let's do a head count. The timer. Admiral, if you can do something about that turret, it might give away our position. With that. Yeah, turn, just turn them off, and yeah, that'll work. Like, I'll prove the 43 can shoot right now. <laughs> yeah. They are literally shooting right Omni, now. Sh uh, if you can't shut off that, um, that vessel. Let's get a head count. Who do we have here? Uh, they got it. Uh, what vessel, Captain? EFN, uh, EFN crew, meet me on the port side. Let's see if we got everyone here. Pyro. Admiral, if I may, if we have any frigates in the sector, I'd say we go back Wait, to that. Link, do you know where Tiber's at? Uh, Last I heard, he was on the station in combat. Fuck. Admiral Omni? Hmm? If I may make a suggestion, we may want to call in for a nearby ship to assist and take down that uh, fr uh, freighter. Uh, do not mm. let the CDF get their hands on those supplies. That situation. Is that imminent right domain past. still available? Captain. Yeah. Uh, Tiber's not here. I know. Yeah. It appears we left him behind. It sounds like a rescue mission is in order. With all due respect, this op is completely botched. I recommend we hand out oxygen bottles and make our best way back to the Eternity Notice uh, Squadron ASAP. This is still capable of full navigation. However, it's not pressurized. Yeah, we've got oxy bottles. Roger that. Hand out the oxygen bottles, ahead. and I suggest we make uh, all due haste back towards that. Setting up Admiral, a uh, AO exiting jump. Roger that. Pyro, get a seat, and we're leaving Tiber behind for now. Really? There's nothing we can do about it. This ship is fucked. It... Yeah. My condolences, Captain. It's not dead, but... It might be a fate worse than death. 